All right, we are here with the birthday gal, head coach Boo Major. The Gamecocks beat Tennessee Martin 16-3 to on Saturday to open up the spring. Coach, um, opening up at home after a tough stretch on the road to close out the fall. Uh, how proud of you and your team today? Well, very proud. I mean, I, I think it's been a, it was a very nice day. We had beautiful weather. We had a nice crowd out here. And, uh, you know, I, I, the girls have been very positive since they've come back. They've had a lot of th enthusiasm in weight room, a lot of enthusiasm in practice, a lot of extra rotting and so it was really nice for it to pay off for them today and I, I think they did a great job hats off to UT Martin they brought a great team they did a great job I just think we had a, a better go today both ends of the scoreboard uh, all four events your team rode exceptionally well uh, was that one of the goals that you set for this group heading into the weekend you know I think we really didn't set a goal of trying well, you know we we still keep working on minimizing mistakes and staying out of the penalty box. Um, I, I think that's really more where we're coming from. And I think that, that we, yes, we still had some mistakes, but I think we minimized them more than we have in the past. And so it was nice to see that, to see that, that you know, we had a, a lot more positive rods today than negative rods. And, and um, you know, I think I was very happy with how the girls went, both on the western side and the hunts east side. We still got some work to do, but, you know, this was a great day, a lot of, a big confidence builder for everybody. And I think, you know, this is something that we will help us grow to be a stronger team down the road. You opened up raining with a 3-1 win. I know so far this season, and the reigning team has maybe struggled to find some of the points here and there. So to get, uh, you know, three points at home, Michaela Clegg wins her first career point. Sarah Bouchard, uh, MOP for her, and then Bridget White, her second point of the season as a freshman. When you look at that group as a whole, how well did you think they rode today? I think they rode well. I think the horses were really fresh today, and I think that caused some issues here and there. Um, but I was really proud of how the girls performed. I think that they got out there. They, you know, they have to lead off. They have to start out. Um, to be able to finish raining and be ahead was a, a, a great way to go into the jumping and I think again just kind of helped snowball the effect of building some confidence and having us realize that you know we can get out there and get the job done. Down to the jumping arena a four to one win uh, for the Gamecocks. Chloe Schmidt MOP for her her second of the season. Uh, Samantha Kraus, Lizzie Vanderwald, Sydney Smith all won their points. Um, when you watch those rides today uh, pretty impressive scores. Uh, just talk about how you thought they did. I thought they were great. Um, I think that we are, um, again, I think it came back to the horses were a little questionable up until this morning. And um, I think they came out, um, the horses were great. They were beautifully prepared by our other girls that weren't competing today. And because of that, I think that it, it made for a very positive experience for the girls that were competing, but they did a great job. They, they, they really um, went out there, got it done. I don't, I think there were several horses that weren't comfortable rides for our girls that, that they might've wished they had gotten another horse. And they did a great job of going out there and getting the job done anyway. Up in the horsemanship ring, it was a 5-0 sweep uh, for the Gamecocks. Impressive scores, really, for both teams there. Um, this is a lineup. I know Coach Sorrell has really just thrown in some different people here and there trying to find a winning combination that she likes. When you look at, at the group today, I know your senior Western captain, Abigail Pate, with an MOP, Megan Overberg, Bailey Musieski, Kelsey Urban, Lindsey Slack. It's a group. They've been there before. They've gotten their chances in the lineup. To see them come in today with this specific group, uh, how pleased were you to see it succeed? Very pleased. I mean, I, I you know, and I think we, um, we've been, I know Coach Sorrell is really trying, as you said, is trying to get some people in and out. And um, it was really nice to see a group come in there and do a sweep today. I think that that was a very positive thing for them. And, you know, that that some will be showing next weekend and some won't. But at the same time, it isn't because of how well they did today. It's because that we've got so many very positive kids in horsemanship that, that are doing great, that we, we can enter we can put them in whenever we need to or whenever we want to we can take one out and put one in and usually it doesn't there's no difference so I'm real excited about what we have with them um, the horsemanship girls I hope they carry it through I do think they're a very strong group probably the strongest group we have of the different um, events and um, so we're certainly looking forward to them trying to carry it through next week. You won four of five points in the flat ring uh, Chloe Schmidt, Lizzie Vanderwald, Samantha Krause MVP, 
senior Aaron Fry, a veteran group, part of that lineup, some semi-newcomers to the other end of that lineup, as you have equally, like Coach Terrell and Horsemanship, mixed and matched this flat lineup. What are some of the things you know, you're know you really going to be looking for this spring? Well, I think we've got to um, have some confidence, and I think we have to have some some people that go in there and are confident in the way they ride, confident in the way they handle horses, that, that they know that they can handle anything that the horse throws at them or the, the, um, the pattern that they're asked to do throws at them. And I think we saw that today, um, that the horses were all different today, but um, at the same time, I think our girls went in there and rode each horse. I've been kind of stressing a lot about not riding the test, you know, ride the test, yes, but you really need to ride the horse and the test will take care of itself. And I think we saw a lot of that today. So very pleased with them. Um, we've still got a ways to go, but um, really pleased overall with their performance. Short week to get ready for Georgia next week. It'll be Equifest, your kids day meet, uh, one o'clock start time on a short week of practice with, with a very tough SEC opponent coming in here. What are some of the things you need to work on this week? Well, I think we've got to look at the new patterns that we have to do. We'll have a new jump course, a new reining pattern. Um, I think we've got to make sure that our horses are um, not anticipating things um, just because we have two back-to-back -back competitions. Um, I think we're just, uh, uh, you know, frankly, we're just trying to get better. Um, if, we, if every meet we can get better, win or lose, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Of course, we all want to win, but I, I just want to see the team getting better and better, no matter who goes in. That, that we're getting out there and throwing it all out there and letting the chips fall where they do. And I think if we do that, we'll have a day like we had, you know, not, not necessarily against Georgia, but we'll have a positive day of riding like we had today. And I think that that's what we're looking for next week. All right, well, Coach, congratulations on the win. Have a happy rest of your birthday. We'll check back with you later this week. All right, thanks, Corey.